With the government shutdown now in its 27th day, many federal programs have been affected, including food stamps. So far, there is no major lapse in benefits used by nearly 39 million people each month. That's because of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It found a way to pay SNAP benefits, as they are called, earlier than normal. February benefits, awarded through a debit-style card used at stores, are being paid out this week. Several states, including California and Florida, are warning users to be careful and make sure they manage to make the money last longer. For 2,500 retailers, the problem is already here. That's because those stores needed to renew a license for the Electronic Benefit Transfer, or EBT, debit card program, and they failed to meet a deadline before the shutdown. Those renewals required every five years are on hold. Sarah Jackson is an employee at one store in northern Arkansas. We have been completely unable to take any SNAP EBT payments. Grocery stores need a license to process EBT payments, and ours expired and was unable to be renewed on schedule because of the government shutdown. Because of an argument about a wall, I have to look people in the eyes every day and tell them that they can't pay for their food, for their children's food. Sarah Jackson in Arkansas. We reached out to the U.S. Department of Agriculture for a response. A spokesperson wrote back, quote, over 99% of SNAP retailers are able to accept benefits as usual. There is a small percentage of stores that fail to complete a required reauthorization process that was due on December 21st. These stores can take steps to update their status once funding is restored, end quote. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakatadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule by a great men's stone, and a blessed salutation to the Akyams and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Coming on a lesson to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000, and the one third men, women, and children, and confusion of faces, Israelites. All right, this um, article was sent, sent to us by our, sent to me by our camp leader, you know, um, GMS Trinidad. They said, Why many stores cannot accept food stamp during the shutdown? All right. And they're talking that they said these stores gotta re renew the EBT card, right? You understand? And this is just this 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 whole this whole shut down with wall and um with the wall and with um the immigrants pouring into the country and security. All this is just what well, all this is just um all uh, this was by design to see how you people gonna react, right? This has nothing to do about um, no bill and no wall. It's bigger than that. There's just a distract you people. It's bigger than that. It's a push. It's a it's a it's a it's a push. This uh the, the agenda, right? Which is the RFID microchip and many other things. You understand? To see how you people gonna react. You understand? So that the, what 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 they gonna do? They use it. This is what Satan is doing. Satan is use many, many. He can use many design, right, to see how you people are gonna, how you people are gonna act, and then he can start writing what new laws. He can push new laws, and he can push a new economic um, restructure, which is, which is the, um, which is the RFID, RFID technology, which is gonna be the new monetary system. You understand? So all this, all this was already set, right? All this was already set. This one, I read this one here. They say for two thousand, for two hundred, two thousand five hundred retailers, the problem is already here. That is because those store stores needed to renew the license for the electronic benefit transfer, right? Or the EBT debit card program. So, hey, no telling they're gonna move from card to with the microchip. Right, so this shutdown is just to see how you people are gonna react. 
so they could so they could write new laws, right? They understand that the script as the scripture said, right? Um, in um, Isaiah, right? This is Isaiah, right? We are not ignorant of uh, of Satan's devices. You understand? This is um, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. He said, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree, and that write grievously which they have prescribed. You understand? So we know we know this this this, this shut down, right? Uh, cutting of the uh, section eight, right? Cutting of the section eight, you know, and uh, and of the uh, EBT card, which 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 going into where your food stamp, right? Now you're receiving your uh, your food. In a box, you know, workers workers being laid off without pay, I mean sent home without pay. And all this is how you people gonna react. You understand this? And then they're gonna then they're gonna come in with what, a new law. Say uh, this is a new this is a new structure for work government workers. Right? This is the new structure for uh, the section eight, which is the government um uh, government um rental um, assistance government rental assistance you know and the food stamp this is a new this is a new structure this is a new law how we can go about doing this 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 thing you know hey take the microchip you understand so we are not ignorant of Satan devices so they do these things to push for new laws right the create these chaos or so we'll push new laws right so we are not ignorant of Satan devices right so this this EBT cut uh, debit card gonna be gonna, gonna be what gonna be on your microchip right gonna be on your microchip so we are not ignorant of Satan devices right so this shutdown gonna continue right because there, 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 there is more there is more to just a wall you understand a whole different the whole government because of a wall no they have the agenda so it's a push it's a push new laws you understand Right, this will we read this will we read. Let me get this uh, this next precept. Um uh second Corinthian. Right. Second Corinthians. Right. Yeah, this is second Corinthian chapter two verse eleven. He said, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So this one of Satan devices. So hey, you can use many design, many design Satan will, will push, right? To see how to see how you people are gonna react. And this is one of the design, right? To shut the government down and, 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 and use a wall as an excuse. I have Democrat and Republican going at going at each other. Democrat not gonna release the fund, and Republican not gonna open the government. It's a put pressure on your people so they can bring in new laws, new legislation. You understand? And one of them new laws gonna be the new economic structure, which is gonna which is gonna which is gonna usher in the the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right? This is the year of Karakmo. You understand? So this this they're gonna push this RFID technology. And you know, we see we see by the government shut down, you know. This 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 could be the step this could be the the, 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 the lead way, you know, to start chipping these government workers. Right? You understand? So we are not ignorant of Satan devices. Right? And this one of Satan devices shut down the government and blame it on uh and blame it on um immigrants pouring into the country, illegal immigrants, criminals, drug dealers. You know, we are not ignorant of Satan devices, right? So you Israelites need to repent and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Put your trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Right? This is Isaiah 32 and 7. It said, the instruments also of the churl, which is the so-called white man, are evil. He devised wicked device to destroy the poor with lying words. You understand? Talking about government shutdown and these immigrants, which is Israelites, coming in and they are criminal, they are drug dealer, they are murderers, right? You understand? So this is what they use in security. 
there's, there's the love they love to use the word security this is the word they like they like to use security peace there is no peace with this devil right he said even when the needy speak uh speak it right now who's the needy right the the the, the, the upright men the, the israelites that speaking right you understand so hey he, he, he devised wicked devices and destroy the fool with lying words you understand but we see they say to the spirit it's a what push the microchip the the, the the new economic um structure which is which can be the rfid microchip right we're gonna be the new monetary system but you you israel need to you israelite need to put your trust in your Hashem your shai that's what you need to do and not in man you need to repent because it can get worse right it's gonna get worse than this right you see a lot of you nigga women are already crying out it's gonna get worse because the most i want you that the most i tell you that the vintage gonna fail you know but you nigga woman that they don't take heed you know, you put your trust in this system, like the nigga almost said, the, 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 uh, the government is, is, your, is, is the daddy for your children. You understand? So it can get, it can get, it can get worse. It can get worse. You understand? So put your trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is Psalms 16, 11. Give us help from trouble. And this is Jacob trouble. You understand? Give us help from trouble. Because you is like going to be affected. And you heathens. And you and and you Edomites, right? So this 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 is this message to you Israelite. Psalm sixty and eleven. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. He said, "True." He said, "True." The power Yahweh we shall do valiantly, for he. He said, "For he it is that shall tread down our enemies." You understand? So you gotta put the trust in Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? You gotta put your trust in your Hashem Yahweh Shai. Psalm chapter 70, verse 5. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O power Yahweh. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Make no tarrying. You understand? So the most is who can deliver, deliver you out of this, this hell. Right? That we we are about to go through, which is Jacob trouble. Right? We are about to hit Jacob trouble. So hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is who gonna defend us. So you gotta turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You gotta turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Right? Stop putting your trust in man. Right? The scripture said, Curse, curse be he, curse be he that put his trust in man. This is Psalms 118, verse 8. He said, It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh than to put confidence in man. A lot of you crying out to Donald Trump, that you nigga woman crying out to Donald Trump, to talk about the government because she want to feed your family. No, you're supposed to be crying out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to destroy this economy so the righteous so the righteous kingdom could be set up. You understand? Right? Verse 9 It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh than to put confidence in Prince. You understand? So we got to put the trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He's going to deliver us. Right, this is Judith. Uh, Judith chapter 9, verse 14. He said, And make every nation and tribe to acknowledge that thou art the power of all power and might, and that there is none other that protect the people of Israel but thou. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is who will protect the Israelites. You so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian and countries in the faces. Right? The elect are gonna be protected. The 144,000 in one men, women, and children are gonna be protected. You understand? Gonna be protected. Say so you gotta put your trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? He said, he said, he said, he said his servants gonna eat. You understand? He said they're gonna eat. Right, let me get the next one and I'll close off here, right? He said his he said his servant's gonna eat. Let me get two more close up. Let me get this one in Ezra. All right, it's the second Ezra chapter two verse um uh second Ezra chapter two verse twenty seven. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, and the day of trouble and heaviness is, is right here. We in that time, we in that season, which is Jacob trouble. 
right it's gonna come right he said be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shall be merry and have abundance right he let gonna be merry and have abundance he said the heathen shall envy thee but they shall be be able to do nothing against thee said the lord yahweh you understand 144 1044 spiritual number right they're gonna envy us they're not, they're not gonna be able to do nothing against us this is um psalms 37 and 18 he said the lord know the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever and the upright is the israelites right starting with the elect of the nation of israel the 144,000 and the one third men and the children because two thousand people are going to be cut off and die there then they will come when they, they can come back in the kingdom and they can be taught all over again right they can be all righteous right you understand uh verse 19 he said they shall not be ashamed in the evil time so in this time they're coming the elect not going to be ashamed the 144,000 and the one third men and children countries in the face Israelites are not going to be ashamed. So can Negro, so can Latino, so can Native American. They're not going to be ashamed. Right? Because they put their trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. They turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. Right? Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in the, in, in the evil time. And in the day of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right? They're going to be satisfied. And this is the time that we come into the day of famine, pestilence, race, war, martial art, the ushering, the ushering and the implementation of the RFID microchip, which can be the new monetary system, World War III, missiles. You understand? So this is the time that we come into. So hey, hey, repent, repent, you Israelites, and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? You so can leave those Latins and Native American in the This is the time of Jacob trouble. So repent of it. That with us must edify and I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakha Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Mill Stone, and a blessed salutation to the Akiyam, to the folk, and the to push in the gospel in sincerity to the church Shalom. Yeah, because when the, when the Ashwin is microchip, a lot of you Asia are going to die. You're going to die. And the ones who take the chip are going to die too. So take heed and repent. Shalom to the elect. 